Teamwork, come on. Come on, you're not doing your part. is filled up with eggs and so I'm sort of protecting her from falling. She will have a drag line of course which will um, ease her fall but being so heavy bodied I do worry that she is going to um, breach her abdomen if she were to take a full tumble even three feet down to the ground here. We'll take some close-ups of this beautiful girl and you'll see her again when I do the larger Phidippus or jumping spider care video. I'll probably include some other species outside the genus Phidippus when I make that video. This sweet girl, I hope that she has an egg sack for us all soon. So I have her there in my phone case. <laughs> She's gonna pop out here in just a second. I don't know if she can squeeze through that. <laughs> particular hole right there. <laughs> She's kind of a big girl. Nice opportunity though to take a peek at her face and the beautiful striping in her legs. That sort of teal color there on her calissary. You can take a look at the beautiful gray coloration on the top of her body. Being fairly cooperative. She's not likely to jump on the camera on account of her condition being gravid or pregnant. Moving her pedipalps just a bit. Pedipalps, of course, are those appendages up front. It almost looks like a fifth pair of legs because of their length. There, she's perking up a little bit, looking up. I'm about three inches away from her at this point, and she seems to be a little bit stunned by the amount of light right there. Take it in a little closer and see her eyelashes. And my finger there. She knows I'm not a huge threat to her, but she's going to wander off. That's one of their means of dealing with situations that they're not quite sure about. If anybody wants to give her a name, I'll write it on her container. And when we visit with her in future videos, we'll call her by that name. There, the eyelashes from the backside here. And there is some variation in the coloration of this species. It was fun to watch those pedipalps sort of testing, testing the waters of the world as she moves through it. So photogenic. Everybody loves seeing macros. I have this lens attachment that all Clip sent me to take nice close-ups like this. Pretty pleased with the quality of it. Just clips on here to my iPhone and really takes us in. So we can see all these little bristles along her legs and around her face close-ups of the eyelashes, the two large eyes in the middle, more eyes around the side of the head. They have eight in all.
So here at the top of this 32 ounce cup, you can see the female's original nest there. She was over on this side, but when she went to deposit her egg sack, she did it on the opposite side. You can see her a little bit through this side of the cup. But more interestingly, the light over on the opposite side, you can see that her egg sac has hatched now. And it appears that the babies have already shed their skin one time. They've got that black coloration, darker coloration. Maybe. Well, actually, it's hard to say. So I just misted the sidewall of her container and she started drinking right away. I thought you guys might want to see her. She's sort of lapping up water there with her pedipalps. You can see her putting them into the droplets and then pulling them up to her mouth and drinking. And there she goes, continuing to dry off her front leg see that she soaked up some water with it. Her fangs showing up very nicely now in this shot. That's how a jumping spider drinks. Teamwork, come on. Come on, you're not doing your part. Here we go, here we go. You and me. Weak sauce. It's not over yet though, is it? We got a plan. You gonna try again with me? Can we try it? Can we shake on it, please? Come on. Eight eyes. Eight eyes, Cindy. You can see it. So Cindy and I, in between scenes here, we had a little talk. She said, if we're going to do this, I'm going to need a smaller fly. I said, fine. These spider celebs, I tell you, are so entitled. But anything for the shot. I got hours of editing to do here still. She knows it. She's got all the leverage. I might as well be the fly. Good job, Cindy. Yeah, you're welcome for the smaller fly. And she's just looking for a comfortable place to finish her meal. Can't blame her for that. Of course, her abdomen is much smaller, and so she needed this meal. Last customer says, can I have a drawing of a Phidippus Audax with a Stormtrooper laser gun? And I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I really enjoy this one. Jessica is a Star Trek fan and wouldn't mind at all if somebody made a Star Trek related request, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, in considering how to draw this, she asked me if there was some sort of insignia. She was trying to avoid having to draw a person as well um, that she could associate with the spider uh, that was on the other side from the stormtroopers. And I, by coincidence, pointed to my shirt today. <laughs> 
super awesome. That's that's a stormtrooper gun, and uh, you can see there the what is the species name for this? This is Phytopus what? Onyx or Tux? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tux. Well, I guess they did write Tux down there. I was thinking uh, oh, I don't know, oh, something I'm Star Wars a, oh, like I don't know like Phytopus Corellia or something. What's that? It's uh, I think that's it's a city where a lot of uh, businesses transacted in the Star Wars universe. They also make ships, Corellian freighters. Is that what the, uh, the Millennium Falcon was? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her a Star Trek question. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.